Uh, good morning, friends. Uh, today we'll see the assay of hydrogen peroxide, uh, that is by redox citation. So hydrogen peroxide formula is H2O2. So first of all, we write the reference. So reference I have taken from the back at the uh, practical pharmaceutical chemistry book. It is of CVS publisher, page number 178 to 179. From there, you can write the reference. Then the requirements come. Requirements include the chemicals that we use, that is hydrogen peroxide we have used, we will use, we will use the KMnO4 for the titration of this. So requirement, chemical requirement will be the hydrogen peroxide, KMnO4, sulfuric acid. And the glassware requirement will be the same. That is a burate, volumetric flask, conical flask, uh, volumetric pipette. Then we require the uh, wash bottle, funnel. This will be the one glassware requirement. Theory involve what? Here this H2O2 will use as a reducing agent because we will titrate it against KMnO4. As we have already seen, we have already sterilized the KMnO4 in our fifth experiment. So the same KMnO4 solution we are using here for the sterilization for the assay of this uh, hydrogen peroxide, which we use as a sample. So for that, this will be act as a reducing agent. And here this H2O2 got converted into O2 in the presence of uh, uh, acidic media that will convert into water molecule. The, there is a two molecule of H2O2 got converted into uh, to give the two molecule of oxygen and the uh, one molecule of oxygen and the two molecule of water. So here when you will see the change in oxidation state of oxygen, it will be from minus one to zero. And here there will be uh, uh, transfer of two electrons is there. So the molecular weight of uh, this H2O2 will be divided by two to give the equivalent weight. The equivalent weight will be divided by two. So here that is equal to 34.01 is the molecular weight for H2O2 that will be divided by two. That is approximately 17. So that means in order to prepare this H2O2 solution, we require 17 gram has to be taken and make to one liter in order to get the um, uh, what uh, one, one N solution of H2O2. But we have uh, the potassium permanganate in the ratio of 0.1 normal. So we have to prepare 0.1 normal. That means we require 1.7 gram of H2O2 has to be dissolved into uh, one liter so that we get the solution of or the solution of a 0.1 normal of H2O2. So how we will prepare it commercially when you will see the bottle of H2O2, which it is available in our lab is 6% H2O2. 6% W by W as 2 present in our lab. This is a laboratory reason. It is available in our lab. We have to estimate this, whether it is 6% or not. This is our objectivity. So in order to prepare 0.1 normal solution of S2O2, as we know that the titration involved the equinormal solution has to be taken. So we know that if it is having the 6%, that means 6 gram of S2O2 is present in 100 gram of solution. So 100 gram solution. So in this case, we have to convert this six gram into ML that how much ML of solution it will take that will consist of six gram or 1.7 gram. So that we can take that much ML of S2O2 and uh, make the volume to 100 ML so that uh, one liter so that we can get the solution of this uh, S2O2. So we will take first a density of this so that we convert this gram into a density of H2O2 is given is 1.01, 1.01 gram per ml. So you can calculate the uh, ml of H2O2 in, in 100 gram, we can convert into ml by having a simple calculation of density that is we have the density, we have the weight and uh, mass or volume. So here the uh, weight is 100 because we have to convert the 100 gram into ml. Density is 1.01. We have to convert into volume. So we can have this with us, 101. So you can convert this. So this much ml of H2O2 consists of 6 gram. So you can calculate this. This is coming that approx 99.009 ml. So that means 6 gram is present. 6 gram H2O2 
is present in 99.009 ml of H2O2 solution. Done. Now we'll take for one gram, you can calculate for one gram, it is 99.009 divided by six ml of H2O2. So now you can calculate for 1.7 gram because we have to calculate it for 1.7 gram. So you can calculate 99.009 divided by six multiplied by 1.7 gram, 1.7 and that of H2O2. So this is equal to how much for 1.7 gram? 1.7 gram H2O2 is present in how much it is? I have solved it already. It is coming across 28.05, 28.052 gram of H2O2. Sorry, 25 point, and that is ml, not uh, gram. This is ml. This is ml of H2O2. Then, so we will take two. If we take 28.05 and dissolve it to one liter, we'll get the 0.1 normal. We'll take 28.052 ml of H2O2 and dissolve it to one liter, we'll get the 0.1 normal H2O2 solution. So in order to prepare, we will not prepare one liter, we'll prepare 400 ml. So we'll take 2.8052 ml. That means approximately 2.8 will take and dissolve into 100 ml. So that we get the 0.1 and 2 the solution. So this is the preparation for S2 to solution. So we have got the idea that we will take 2.8 ml of S2 to get the solution of 100 ml of S2. This is our preparation that uh, finally we have freezed out that we will take 2.8 ml of H2O2 and dissolve into 100 ml distilled water, we will get the solution of H2O2. Now what next we have to do? We have to take the k over solution which we have already prepared in the previous experiment. The same k over solution will take and whose normality we have already calculated. We will take the pre-standardized solution of k over solution in this burette. Standard solution whose normality is known to us, we have determined its normality that was approximately 0.1015. So, the same solution we are using here. So, we I am putting the same normality here. So, this solution will take in the buret, and this H2O2 solution from this solution will take 20 ml of this H2O2. 20 ml H2O2 will transfer here, then you will add 5 ml of dilute as to the four year. Then the same solution is titrated until we get the end point in the form of pink color because this KMLO4 is act as a self indicator here. So pink color end point will get here in this case of S2 titration. So whatever end point will come, we will note it in the observation table. This is the observation table. You can note it like this one first reading is one. This volume as 2O2 will be 20. Initial reading is uh, 0 ml because burette is initially filled to 0. Then how much volume has consumed? Whatever volume has consumed, we'll write it here. Suppose it has consumed 19 ml or 19.2 ml. So we'll write the final is 19.2. Then we'll calculate the difference, whatever difference we are getting. We will repeat it again for 20. It will fill the burette again, so it will we again come to zero. If it is, it has come to 19.2, again we will write it here, then we'll go for again. If it is coming 19.2, so our end point will be 19.2. So from this, you can calculate that uh, how much gram of H2O2 is there by having a simple calculation like this. N1, V1, H2, N2, V2. From this, you can calculate. This N1, V1, is 2 N2, V2. This you can consider for KMNO4. This you can consider for H2O2. So, normality of KMNO4 is known to us. I have already written here. You can see here that this is the normality of KMNO4 already. We have determined. So, we'll put the same reading here. That is point. 
and volume of PNO4 is nothing but the end point. So here already we have calculated the end point that is 19.2. So we'll put the 19.2. So whatever reading you got, you have, you can put it here. Then N2 is nothing but the normality of S2O2 that we will write it here. Then V2 is nothing but the 20 ml will come because we have taken 20 ml of S2O2. So you can calculate N2. So N2, whatever it will come, I have calculated it is coming 0 0.9744 for this value, 19.2 if it is N point. So you have calculated N2. Now you can convert uh, it into gram per ml or gram per liter. That is by having this formula, strength is equal to normality multiplied by the equivalent weight. The normality of this S2O2 is 0 0.099744. It is coming and you can multiply it by the equivalent weight. It is uh, how much? It is 17. So when you will multiply it, the answer which we are getting is that is 0 0.16 five six four gram in a liter solution we are getting for 100 ml you can calculate for 100 ml it will be 1.6564 gram in 100 ml isn't and for the calculation we have taken how much we have calculated for 1.7 gram so percentage purity is nothing but the calculated amount calculated amount divided by the amount taken this amount taken uh, amount taken multiplied by 100 so their calculated amount is 1.6564 and the amount taken is 1.7 gram or whatever you will be out or whatever ml you will transfer according to that you will write the graph then multiply by 100, you will get the percentage purity of the solution. You can calculate it by using calculator. So 1.65 divided by 1.7 will give the value approximately to uh, approximately it is more than 90%. So how uh, that is why more than 90% uh, you get. So this that is why we, that is how we calculate the percentage purity of S2O2. Thank you.